In the spring of 2016, Fort Worth, Texas, was shattered by the devastating murder of Elizabeth Arlano, a dedicated paramedic and beloved mother of four. Known for her warmth and strength, Elizabeth had become a respected member of her community with a career marked by compassion and a life rooted in faith and family. Her sudden and brutal death stunned Fort Worth, turning the ordinary lives of her family and friends into a nightmare as investigators scrambled to piece together the truth. Elizabeth's life had not been without struggles. She grew up in a close-knit family supported by her two sisters, Alessandra and Giovanna, and raised under the protective eye of her stepfather, Fidel. Fidel's influence helped shape Elizabeth's resilience and dedication, qualities that would later serve her well as both a mother and a professional. She married Rudolf Arlano Young, and for a time their life appeared stable. But beneath the surface, the marriage was troubled with years of hidden tension. Rudolf, her husband, was often distant, and as their marriage wore on, increasingly volatile. Despite the mounting difficulties, Elizabeth remained a steadfast presence for her children, balancing her challenging career as a paramedic with an unwavering commitment to family. Eventually, the strain became too great. With courage, Elizabeth chose to leave Rudolf, seeking sanctuary with her parents as she filed for divorce. In her newfound freedom, she leaned on a circle of friends and found solace in occasional nights out, brief escapes that allowed her to feel like herself again. Life was beginning to look hopeful and her friends noted a return of the spark that had dimmed over the years. But one April evening, that fragile hope was snatched away. After a rare evening out, Elizabeth failed to return home. Her absence triggered an immediate search and as the hours passed, a creeping dread overtook her family and friends. Investigators worked around the clock, but what initially seemed like a simple case quickly spiraled into something far more sinister. Early theories of suicide or random violence were soon discarded as disturbing details came to light. Elizabeth's ex-husband, Rudolph, was quickly identified as a person of interest. He'd left several missed calls on her phone that night, though he claimed he'd been drinking alone at a bar, a weak alibi with no corroboration. As investigators dug deeper, Rudolph's actions raised eyebrows. His indifferent response to her disappearance stood in stark contrast to the concern shown by her friends and family casting an ominous shadow over his every move. Witnesses emerged, revealing a chilling account of that night. A fisherman claimed he'd seen something suspicious on a nearby bridge, a figure being thrown from the railing, vanishing into the dark water below. Authorities soon confirmed the worst. Elizabeth's body had been discovered in the river, her neck weighed down by concrete, a clear sign that her death was no accident. This brutal detail eliminated any lingering doubts about the nature of her death. Elizabeth had been the victim of a calculated murder, one that bore none of the hallmarks of random violence. As Elizabeth's family prepared for her funeral, Rudolph's behavior grew stranger. At the service, his dramatic outpourings of grief struck many as forced, an act of performance rather than genuine sorrow. The community whispered, and the seeds of suspicion grew. While Rudolph publicly mourned, he also moved quickly to establish a charitable foundation in her memory a move that some saw as a transparent attempt to deflect blame and garner sympathy. But his charade was beginning to unravel. Investigators, undeterred by his outward displays, continued to gather evidence sifting through hours of CCTV footage, phone records, and witness testimony. Their efforts soon bore fruit. Surveillance footage placed Rudolph's car near the bridge at the approximate time of Elizabeth's death, mapping a grim path from her parents' home to the river. Additionally, Rudolph's phone records revealed a trail of attempted calls to Elizabeth on the night she vanished, a desperate effort that, in light of later evidence, seemed less about concern and more about manipulation. With mounting proof, authorities arrested Rudolph as the prime suspect. Yet, the most heart-wrenching evidence would come from within his own family. In a tragic twist, Rudolph's son, torn between loyalty and truth, provided testimony that linked his father to the crime. His son's words painted a chilling picture of a man capable of extreme cruelty, a revelation that sent shockwaves through the family and the courtroom alike. Confronted with the overwhelming evidence, Rudolph eventually confessed to the murder. He admitted to planning the brutal act, citing jealousy and resentment as his motivations. By confessing, he narrowly avoided the death penalty, instead receiving a life sentence without the possibility of parole. But for Elizabeth's family, this offered little comfort. The horror of the crime left an unhealed wound that no verdict could mend, a permanent scar on the lives of her children, and the family tasked with raising them. In court, Rudolph's demeanor was cold and unrepentant. His lack of remorse disturbed everyone present. 
deepening the impact of his horrific actions. Elizabeth's sisters watched with a mix of rage and sorrow as he sat emotionless through the proceedings, his eyes betraying no regret for the life he'd destroyed. Despite the life sentence handed down to him, there was no real justice, only the bitter understanding that he had forever shattered the lives of his children, stealing from them a mother's love and warmth. The community, once rallying in hope for Elizabeth's return, was now left to mourn her absence and grapple with the incomprehensible brutality of her death. Her children were taken in by her family who vowed to keep her memory alive, telling stories of her courage and compassion, determined to shield them from the darker truths of their father's actions for as long as they could. Yet even as time passed, the pain remained raw, and the reminders of Elizabeth's absence lingered in the empty spaces of family gatherings and the quiet moments when her children asked for her. For Elizabeth's loved ones, life would never be the same. The haunting memory of her final moments, the betrayal that led to her death, and the senseless nature of her loss cast a shadow that would follow them for years. Her story served as both a painful lesson and a reminder of the hidden struggles that can lie beneath even the most composed surfaces. And as the community of Fort Worth moved on, Elizabeth's memory endured. A silent presence in the hearts of those who loved her, and a stark reminder of the fragility of peace, even in a life filled with purpose and love. And that wraps up today's story. A tragic case with so many unanswered questions, and one that leaves us all wondering about the darkness that can hide even within families. What do you think? Could something have changed the outcome? Or was it all leading up to that terrible day? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future deep dives. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.